We will take the first question from Gabriel Gonzalez with Caveside Press. Hey, Kyle. It took three tries, but you finally got that first UFC victory. How much of a relief is it going into this one now that you finally have that first UFC W under your belt? Uh, you know, it feels pretty good. Um, you know, I think it was just about getting my mindset and stuff right um, in the first two. Uh, obviously, the first fight was, was super short notice, so I didn't really have much time to prepare. And then uh, the second fight, I felt like I prepared really well physically, but um, mentally I just wasn't in the right space. And uh, yeah, for my third UFC fight, I think I had everything dialed in and uh, obviously performed really well for that one. And, um, you know, I've had a year since then basically to keep improving not only physically but mentally. And I feel like I'm only going to be even better now. I mean, you talk about that. Obviously, there were circumstances, you know, the short notice and the first one and everything else. But, you know, two losses, it could be very discouraging for a fighter. I mean, what did you take from those first two fights to help yourself improve? And now you're at this point where you did get the victory. Uh, yeah, I mean, definitely a lot from the, the Matt Sales fight. Um, you know, I think I was just a little too over aggressive, uh, trying to maybe be a little too entertaining and uh you know searching for the knockout a little too hard um and then yeah in the polo fight i just kind of let it come to me i just went out and fought uh you know how i trained and how i fought before i got into the ufc and everything came together well um you know in the diego ferreira fight it was more or less um you know we got the call on on three or four days so it was basically just make weight um go in and fight and um, but I mean, it was my first time fighting in, in front of a big audience there in uh, Toronto, Canada. I think it was uh, like 20,000 people. So, you know, I got to experience some of that and, uh, you know, the whole uh, routine, you know, that you go through when you're fighting for the UFC. So that's kind of what I learned from that. How's the training situation changed for yourself since your last fight? I mean, has the pandemic made it easier or harder where you're at personally? Um, overall, it's probably made it easier. Um, you know, when the pandemic first hit, um, everything kind of got locked down. So it was more so I just focused on my physical fitness and stuff. But, um, you know, COVID and the pandemic's not too bad where I'm from in Canada. So as things started to open up, um, you know, I was able to get back to training, uh, I think, earlier than a lot of other places and um, continue to improve on everything. And when, uh, you know, the pandemic was going on, there wasn't much else happening. You know, I didn't have my normal errands to, to run around and do and, and normal everyday stuff. So I was able to focus even more on training. Final question. What is your assessment of Billy Quarantillo as an opponent? Uh, I think he's a good opponent. Um, you know, well-rounded, definitely, uh, you know, I think he's, he's his best on the ground. Um, but yeah, I think he's a little more of a survivor, not really a killer. Uh, you know, I don't think he poses a lot of danger to me. I think, um, you know, his best bet is to try and try and take me down and try and ride out a, you know, a boring decision win. But uh, I'm not going to let him do that. Okay, thank you, Kyle. Good luck. Thank you. And we will take our next questions from Gavin Porter with UFC.com. What's up, man? So uh, you can still this one here. Yeah. So uh, you're fighting Billy, who's on a pretty good streak. And if you were to get the win over him, do you think that, you know, you could be able to capture some of that momentum that he, he's been building up and uh, the success that he's had in the UFC would be a good victory for you? Yeah, absolutely. That's kind of what I'm looking to do, you know, kind of steal the hype. Uh, he's got some hype behind him. And, uh, you know, I can, I can go in there and extinguish that hype and kind of take it for myself. Um, even when I took that, uh, you know, the short nose fight against Sean Woodson that unfortunately fell through, it was kind of the same game plan. You know, he was he was undefeated and and coming in on a big tear. And, you know, I was ready to steal that hype. Um, unfortunately, that didn't happen. So now we're just going to go ahead and steal all of Billy's hype. You get that opportunity on the, the main card this time. And when you're opening the main card like this, do you, do you view this as an opportunity for you to, you know, kind of get more eyes on you than maybe you have uh, had in the past? Uh, I'm just going to go about it every like every other fight, um, whether it's on the main card, the prelims, or the main event. Um, you know, I'm going to do the exact same thing. So there's there's no point in me focusing too much on on how many viewers there's going to be and how many people are watching. I'm just going to go in and knock them out the same. When you've been away from the octagon for this whole plus year, what have you missed most about competing, and uh, what what are you most excited for to get in there and do on Saturday? Uh, yeah, I mean, definitely, I miss a lot about competing. That's, uh, you know, that's why I train. Uh, that's what keeps me motivated. That's why I'm up every day early to run. Um, so, you know, without that, um, you would almost, 
you know, the fire actually, you know, grew bigger, um, you know, waiting for another fight. And, and yeah, there was a bit of, a bit of frustration, but, um, you know, I just kept training harder and harder and harder. And uh, I knew when the time did come, I would just be even better. So the improvements I've made in this last year have been uh, amazing and, and nobody's going to be able to kind of see that coming. So I'm, I'm very excited to get back in there. When you have kind of that frustration and that fire built up, does that kind of mean we're going to see a explosive version of this Kyle coming out on that first round? Uh, you're always going to see an explosive version of Kyle. Uh, you know, I come with the power, the speed, the strength, um, you know, and, and if anything lands on Billy, that'll be it. So I got power in my hands, both my feet, my knees, my elbows. Everything's coming with a lot of heat on it. So Billy's got a lot to be scared about. What does a, a statement victory look like for you? What do you envision your statement being on Saturday? Uh, you know, I would love a one-punch knockout uh, and then just walk away. You know, um, finish them nice and early, get in and out, not get hurt, and uh, be ready to jump on uh, another opportunity if something comes up real soon. Perfect, man. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you on Saturday. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kyle. That is all the time we had for you, sir. Awesome. Thanks a lot.